All winter, the three billy goats gruff would stay in their cave, trying to keep as warm as possible. But when the springtime came, and the little flowers lifted their heads towards the sun, and the trees blossomed and bloomed, well then, they could make their way down to feed in the meadow on the lush, green, sweet grass. But to get to the meadow, they had to cross the raging river. And there was only one way across, over the rickety bridge, and underneath the rickety bridge lived the troll. And the troll demanded everyone who crossed to ask permission, and he seldom gave it. And more often than not, he would eat the asker for breakfast. And so it was that the littlest billy goat gruff made his way across the bridge, trippity trop, trippity trop. Trippity trop, and when he was about halfway across, a terrible roar came from underneath. Who's that going across my bridge? went the troll. The little billy goat gruff answered, "I, just a little billy goat gruff, and I'm just going across to feed in the meadow on the lush green sweet grass." Oh no, you're not," replied the troll. "I'm going to have you for my breakfast." Thinking quickly, the little billy goat's gruff replied, "Oh, you wouldn't want to meet me, Mister Troll. Why don't you have my brother? He's coming along in a minute, and he's he's much bigger than me. I'm only small. I wouldn't fill you up." Now the troll didn't want to waste his appetite on a little billy goat's gruff when he could have a much bigger one coming along in just a minute, and so he said to the little billy goat's gruff, "All right then." You go along then and feed in the meadow and get nice, nice and fat, and I'll have you on the way back. He didn't have to wait long, for soon the second billy goat's gruff was making his way across the bridge, clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop, and when he was about halfway across, there was a terrible roar from underneath. Who's that going across my bridge? Oh, it's just me. I am just a billy goat's gruff. I'm just going across to the meadow to feed on the lush green sweet grass. Oh no, you're not! Roared the troll. I'm going to have you for my breakfast. Thinking quickly, the second billy goat's gruff replied, "Oh, you don't want to eat me, Mister Troll. I'm." I'm only a medium size. I'm sure you've got a big appetite. Why don't you wait for my brother to come along? He's coming along in just a minute, and he's much bigger. He'll fill you up. Now, the troll didn't want to fill himself up on a medium size billy goat's gruff when he could have a nice big one coming along in just a minute, and so he said to the second billy goat's gruff, "Well, you go along then to that meadow and you feed yourself up nice and fat, and I'll have you on the way back." He didn't have to wait long, for soon the third billy goat's gruff was making his way across the bridge. Trumpety stump, trumpety stump, trumpety stump. He went, and about halfway across, there was a terrible roar from under the bridge. Who's that going across my bridge? And the third billy goat's gruff replied, "It's me, Billy Goat's gruff." I'm going to the sweet meadow to feed on the lush grass. And the troll said, "Oh no, you're not! I'm going to have you for my breakfast." And the third billy goat's gruff replied, "Come on then, come up and have your breakfast." And the troll jumped up onto the bridge, and the third billy goat's gruff lowered his head. And he stomped across the bridge, badum, 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 badum. He knocked the troll into the water. Splash! The troll was carried downstream, away and out to sea. And the third billy goat's gruff stomped across the bridge and joined his brothers. And together they fed on the lush, sweet green grass of the meadow. And the troll. Never bothered anyone ever again.